Welcome to the AHA VTS clip on Cisco Basic DHCP Server Setup. My name is Aleem HLE and I'll be your host through this video tutorial series. Now DHCP is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and it is used to assign IP addresses automatically to end workstations as shown in my diagram here. This greatly reduces network administrators overhead by removing the painstaking task of manually identifying IP addresses with each and every workstation, especially in medium to large businesses where you have over 50 users. In this situation, we'll be using a Cisco router to do the same functionality of a standalone DHCP server that may reside in your network. The first thing we'll do is to identify the pool range of IP addresses that we want to use. In this case, we'll be using the network 12.11.5.0 with a slash 24 notation for these end stations on this diagram here. Next, we want to configure an IP exclusion list to remove the IP addresses of those interfaces and or devices that we do not want to assign to our workstations. And in this case, again, it will be this interface on this router with a 5.1 and this web server that I'm going to label here and this DNS server of .5.2 and 5.3 respectively. We're also going to list the NetBIOS server for name resolution on this network for NetBIOS, I'm sorry, for NetBIOS name resolution, as well as assign an IP address for the domain name servers for domain name resolution on this network, and to assign a default gateway or default router for these end stations on this access layer to communicate outside of its local area network across this router to any other network, whether it be another WAN link, another network, or the internet. So let me pull up my turret term prompt here, and we'll begin. The first thing we'll have to do is get into config configuration mode. From here, we'll type in IP DHCP pool and we'll give it a name. In this case, uh, we'll call it VA, the AHA VTS for AHA VTS series that you're watching right now. <laughs> this will get us into DHCP configuration mode. And I'm going to bypass this first step, the step underneath here, um, exclusion range. We'll leave that for last. But let's configure the um, the range of IP addresses. We'll do so by issuing the network command, uh, network command, followed by the IP address of the network, which is 12.11.5.0, when a question mark. Uh, we can either use the uh, the dotted decimal notation for the subnet mask, or we could do the slash notation. In this case, I'll do the slash notation of 24. Next thing we'll configure is the NetBIOS uh, server. We'll type in NetBIOS if it can work for me. Oops. Let's take a look at our uh, commands here. Ah, there it is. Is NetBIOS name? So we'll go into NetBIOS name server followed by the IP address 12.11.5 5.3 next we're going to configure the DNS server which can also have the same name we'll configure that as 12.11.5.3 we won't configure the web server but that IP address will be eliminated from our uh, pool range to be given to our end users in the exclusion range list Next, we're going to configure the default gateway or the default router. In this case, is 12.11.5.1. And that's it for DHCP configuration mode. Let's get back into configuration mode quickly and configure this IP exclusion list. For some reason, I have no idea why this exclusion list is not located within the DHCP configuration submode. But in either case, we'll type in IP DHCP exclude address followed by the question mark. Now this is going to be the low IP address that we want to exclude. This one will be 12.11.5.1 hit a question mark. Uh, the high IP address. Well, I'm going to type in 12.11.5.15 just to be on the safe side if I want to add any more servers statically on this network that I don't want that IP address to be given out to my end stations. So in this case my range will be from dot, uh, 5.1 to 5.15 and I'm going to hit enter. Let's take a look and see how this is in the show run config. You'll notice that I have my, let me just scroll up a little bit more, you notice that I have my IP exclusion list 
from 5.1 to 5.15. We have our DHCP pool as AHAVTS, video training series. Then we have the network that we're going to use is the 12.11.5.0 network or slash 24. Now that gives us 255 users, oh, uh, IP addresses that we can use, but we're only going to use, well, basically from dot five dot sixteen to two uh, to twelve eleven dot eleven dot five dot two fifty four. We have a named uh, NetBIOS and DNS and a default gateway. The next thing we'll have to do, let me just scroll down a little bit, is to enable our interface. Now this Ethernet interface is the interface currently located right here that connects to our access layer switch for IP addresses that will be given to these end workstations here. So let's configure that interface. Right now we're going to go into config T mode. Interface Ethernet slash zero. Configure the IP address of what? Any idea? We'll configure with 12.11.5.1.255.255.255.0. We're going to do a no shut on that. And that interface should be up to communicate with this access layer workstation. So the next thing we'll have to do is actually see. Well, the thing is, let's back up for a second. What IP address do you think that if I initiate a connection to a host on this network, on this switch port here, what IP address do you think will be the first one? Well, in theory, the first one should be 12.11.5, oops, put those dots there, dot 16 for the first available IP address that we have listed via our, let me scroll up a little bit here, from our exclusion range of 5.15, the first one should be 16. And in order to confirm that, I will open up my network uh, connection prompt here. Okay, go into my local area network and I'm going to enable that. So it's going to be enabled and we will see right here the IP address that it will assume in a few moments. We'll take a look at the switch quickly and see if the switch port is up. The switch port is up is amber and is going to turn green in probably about 10 seconds. In that time I'm going to pause the video until this interface comes up. Whew. It took a little over 20 seconds from the time this interface connection uh, connected back to the switch and for that interface to communicate with the router to get the IP address. And lo and behold, the first IP address that it got from the DHCP server is what we expected, 12.11.5.16 with a 24-bit subnet mask. To ensure that any more of our configurations have taken effect, let's right-click here and go to Status. Oops, I'm sorry. I disabled it by accident. Go pause the video until that comes back up. Wow, eventually it came back up. It took forever this time for it to come back up after being disabled. But nonetheless, let's go into status without hitting disable. Go into support and the details and let's take a look here. Notice that the default gateway is 12.11.5.1 and our DHCP server is also 12.11.5.1. We could figure those interfaces, remember, respectively with the, uh, DHC, with the uh, default router command and the DNS server has taken to be 12.11.5.3 as we inputted it. In this tutorial, we follow the basic concepts on how to set up a DHCP server with a Cisco router. We configured our IP pool range, its exclusion list, and a BIOS server, a DNS server, and a default router. I hope this clip provides you some insight, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.